This is a short tutorial on how to create a template or fillable form in Microsoft Word. In creating a fillable form, you can make your form tabable, which is having the ability to tab from one form field to the next. It's actually pretty easy. The first thing we need to do is to decide which form we will generate to become a fillable form that will be easily cleared and used again. A common form for any organization is a leave slip or an application for leave. For the Health Board, we will copy the downloadable form from the Health Board website, copy, and paste it into Word. Then we need to decide where to insert the fields in the form. In this example, the fields will be the employee name, the program, the dates, times, hours, and type of leave taken. We can also insert a field on the signature line that will insert the current date when completing the form. Now that we've made our preliminary decisions, let's delete the existing underlines on the form for the employee name, program, and date in the signature line. We will need to open the Forms toolbar. We can do this by clicking on Tools from the menu bar, Customize, click on the Toolbars tab, scroll down to the Forms toolbar, and select the checkbox, which will open the Forms toolbar and then click on Close. A shortcut to open the Forms toolbar is to click on the View from the menu bar, click Toolbars, and check the Forms toolbar. The Forms toolbar is either a floating toolbar or you can also dock it by clicking on the blue header and dragging and dropping it into the toolbar above. Place the cursor in the document next to the Employee Name field. This is where the first field will be inserted. Click on the Text Form Field button on the Form Toolbar. This is the button that looks like an AB. This will insert the field. To format the field, double-click on the field itself to open the Form Field Options dialog window. The default setting is Alpha Characters. Here, you can control whether you can enter text only, numbers only, date, time, etc. In this example, we will select text. The other default setting is also an unlimited number of maximum characters that will fit into this field. You can control the number of maximum characters to be entered into the field. In this case, we will limit the characters to no more than 75, which will allow plenty of room for anyone with a very long name. Then click OK, which closes the text form field options dialog window. Now, we will place the cursor in the position next to the program name. For this field, just to demonstrate the various types of field we can create, we will list the programs of the Health Board and insert a checkbox field next to each one. This way, the program is simply clicked when completing the form. In an effort to save time, the program names have already been typed into the document. Place the cursor in the document in front of the first program name. This is where the first checkbox will be inserted. Click on the checkbox form field button on the form toolbar. This is the button that looks like a square with a check mark inside. The default setting for this field is not checked. Click OK. Next, place the cursor in the document in the first cell in the row for the from date. Click on the Text Form Field button on the Form Toolbar. Again, the button looks like an AB. We will format the field again by double-clicking on the field, which opens the Form Field Options dialog window. Remember, the default setting is Alpha Characters. This time, we will control the options by selecting Date in the text type, and then limiting the maximum length of this field to 8 characters and pre-selecting the date format to the M slash D slash YY and click OK. We will follow the same procedure for the cell for the time. Click on the text form field button on the form toolbar. Again, the button that looks like an AB. We will format the field by double clicking on the field. The form field options dialog box opens. The time option will only insert the current time, so for this field, We'll leave the type as regular text, but limit the maximum length of this field to no more than 8 characters. 
This way, numbers and letters can be entered. Then click OK. Since the to date and time is required again, we can simply copy and paste the formatted fields. We will now insert a field for the total hours cell. Click on the text form field button on the form toolbar. Double click the field to open the form field options dialog window. For this field, we will select control for numbers only and limit the maximum characters here to three since it is unlikely anyone will be applying for leave that exceeds 999 hours. Click on OK. The last field in this row is the type of leave. For this field, since there are a limited number of leave types, we can insert a drop-down form field listing the various leave categories. Click on the drop-down form field button on the form toolbar. This is the button that looks like a miniature list with up and down arrows. Double click to format the field. Here you type in the first leave category, which is annual leave, and click add. Repeat with the remaining categories, sick leave, leave without pay. I will also insert an other category. Finally, type in the words, please select. With the Please Select highlighted in the Items in the drop-down list box, click the up arrow until it is moved to the top position. Click on OK. Since all the fields in this row will be repeated, it is not necessary to complete each and every step again. We can simply copy the row and paste the already formatted fields into the two rows below. Sometimes Word will insert additional rows so we will need to delete the extra rows before proceeding to format our last field. For the final field, place the cursor in the document next to the date position in the signature line. Click on the text form field button on the form toolbar. Double click the field to open the form field options dialog window. Click on current date and click OK. We are now finished formatting our fillable form. We will need to make the document a truly fillable form by clicking on Tools from the menu bar, Protect Document. A Protect Document pane opens to the right side of the window with three options and or steps. We will choose under Category 2, Editing Restrictions. By clicking on the checkbox next to Allow only this type of editing in the document. Then click on the Filling in Forms from the drop-down list. Then under Category 3, Start Enforcement, click on the button that says Yes, Start Enforcing Protection. A new dialog window opens, providing an option of password protecting your new fillable form. If you do choose to password protect, don't forget your password. Click on OK. Save your document. Now, to fill your form, you simply tab to the appropriate field and type the information. Print a hard copy to route to your supervisor for completion. Exit and do not save the changes. The next time the form is open, the fields are cleared and ready to be completed again. Creating fillable forms are easy and saves time in completing forms that are used often. I hope this session was helpful for you. Enjoy creating more forms and thank you for watching.